This is Marin Biology. My name is Charlie, and today we have a really interesting review for you. Right here are the cheapest mounts you can buy on Amazon. Clocking in at around $10, I bought two pairs of these. We're gonna see, do these compare to the more expensive mallets? Are these okay for a good starter set of mallets? Do they compare to the absurdly expensive Marimba One mallets? Well, actually, I couldn't tell you because I haven't bought a pair of those. They're really expensive. How do they stack up against the competition? Let's find out. Before we get started, a huge shout out to all of our subscribers. And if you wanna see us do more things like this, uh, you can support us on Patreon and we can have the funds to experiment with some more different types of mallets and see what we think of them. Let's get started. What is up with this wrapping? Oh my God. We're almost there. Yeah. And there we have it, fleet mallets made in China. Okay, here we have our mallets lined up with some of my favorites. We have the Fleet Mallets, the Malatech Bobo KB11s, LS15s, ES16s, and the NJZ3. Okay, before we give the Fleet Mallets a spin, let's just get a, a bass sound check with my trusty Kevin Bobo KB11 mallets. These are the mallets I use the most, and these are the mallets that appear on most of my videos. So these mounts, they, they feel good in the hand. Like the, the birch is really nice. It's smooth, but it's not slick. The rounded edges are, are really comfortable. Uh, they're a really comfortable thickness to hold. They're, they're maybe slightly thicker than most mounts that I'm used to, but it's really, it's really comfortable. They look well constructed. Like the, the wrap looks nice and tight and really thorough. It looks pretty darn sturdy. It's just, these mounts are pretty freaking hard. Well, wow. Let's test the durability of these, shall we? I just want to point out that my lovely dog Luna would not let me continue testing mallets until she got a healthy play session. It's not the cutest puppy you've ever seen in your entire life. Nah. stronger too. So they're actually holding up pretty well. I'd say the, the wrap is really tight and it's, it's like a tight cord wrap and it's actually, it's holding up really well to my abuse test, but I really wanna see what's inside of these. So we're gonna attempt our first mallet dissection. 
It's starting to look like a troll. So overall, I would give these mallets a, mm, I wanna say a two out of five potions. If you are playing on xylophone, I think they'd be really great. If you're playing in the very, very top of the marimba or the upper range of the vibraphone and you want a lot of articulation, I think they'd be really good for that. Honestly, I think the, the thing I would use these most for is practicing on the carpet or practicing on the floor when you are practicing away from home or you're practicing while watching TV. They would be really great for that because the shafts are really comfortable. Um, they're, really, they're a really good thickness and the cord is very, very, very tough. So I think they would be pretty good for that application, but I can't really recommend them for like a good general first marimba mallet. You're gonna want something softer than this and something that's a little bit more pleasing to the ear. All right guys, if you have any comments or suggestions, please feel free to send me uh, an email or leave a comment below. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it, and bells if you want some more of it. I'll see you next time. I can do this, all right. <laughs> oh, Jesus. These right here are the cheapest mallets you can get on Amazon. It's okay, Luna, we're winning. Yeah. I'm trying to win us a game.